session is the platform sports talk show with your boy smooth and sit all and stand baby because when it's about sports it becomes our business and business just picked up what's going on with it what up knuckle punch like what he all he all knuckle punch he did that last week though man he all mature with it now 2019 style <laughs> but yes, we are at the premier sexiest hookah lounge, hookah cigar lounge in the loose smoke session. And uh, yes, our setup is quite different. We hit you with that daytime television at 7 p.m. We fancy, <laughs> man. You know what? I can get used to this right here. Yeah, yeah. I can too. And these one of them good food times. It ain't like your grandma's sofa where you sink in to the abyss. And you got the plastic on it? Nah, man, look. The plastic, <laughs> that made it even worse because in the summertime, just stick it. Like, try to get up, <laughs> right? Here, here I'm all pretty stuff. sure the back of my leg. Where the couch, you gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> like, to hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, wait, hold on, 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 hold on. You gotta lean back, then lean. You gotta go. Who acting like you lunging <laughs> the skin and stuff? Just... <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. So let's go ahead and bring our first guest up here. Oh, yeah. He ain't wasting no time, huh? Nope. He was on the show before when, yep. when Sadal was gone. He took over for the 99 2000. He's back. The gift of Gab. <laughs> Everybody. We got KM. Oh, yeah. He's in the building, man. Oh, yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> What's up, y'all? What's going on with you? Back at it. Like a. No. Nah. I'm back. Yo, I'm Mich back. There you go. go. There it like, is. He ain't hey, right. He's he, he he gonna just. He just cool. He's like, so cold. He don't need. got this. I don't need I'm you, just Mike. here. I got, it. Ice, I got, got this. I'm ice cold. Clear out. <laughs> <laughs> Clear out. I got it. So, how you feeling, KM? Man, splendid. Splendid. I bet we gonna talk about it. Oh, we gonna get to it. I'm ready. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm ready. Yes, I cannot wait. Shouts out to everyone watching, Everybody. of course, on YouTube. Goes down every Wednesday night. We are your Wednesday night sports delight. Yeah. Y'all already know. Share this video with the friends. Make sure you subscribe, click on that bell. Because once we go live, you'll be notified. There it is. There it is. So let's go ahead. Once again, we here. Smoke session, different setup. We feeling real good. A whole lot to, to discuss. I'm feeling pretty grown today. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, you got, your, got your suit and tie and all that. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, just like a man, man. <laughs> so like a man, man. You a gentleman, gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a gentleman and a scholar this evening. So, with that being said, <laughs> with that being said, the round table begins now. Woo. Man. Championship game. The Rams game. made it, bro. They made it. They made it. That defense is here. It took, it took like 17. But that Welcome. defense is here. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah. We've been waiting for you. Since week nine, Dag Nabbit, I've yeah. been waiting on you. They came out full force. Yeah, full man. force, man. And that running game, man, one-two punch. That's the first oh, time we've yeah. seen that one-two punch all year with Gurley coming back from the knee injury. Right. So that's that's a that's a good look. A knee injury that he's had since the beginning of the season. Man, but what and about still put up a thousand yards? What about C.J. Anderson though? He he got something to prove, man. He's got some he got some tread on the wheels, man. He got cut by three teams in three years. Yeah. One of which was the Raiders. Man, he, so, got, you know, he got cut by two teams in well, one the season. Everybody, man. Oh, yeah. the, uh, the Raiders. The Raiders yeah. and uh, the Panthers cut him. Yeah. Huh. That, that's crazy. Like that. now. I mean, yeah. yeah. We got a, uh, got a comment already. Who was that from? Super, Super Slap. Fly. Hey! My God. Get him out of there. Hey, <laughs> KM a damn pick. Say, no, get him out of there. I'm ready. They say, no pass allowed. Well, no pass hey, fans allowed. Come on. He's outnumbered I'm ready. I'm ready. He, he's, he's outnumbered. He's right heavily now. outnumbered. I got a, a AK-47. I'm going to just spray it. <laughs> <laughs> we here at the platform. More like, a, show. More like a pop gun. <laughs> Ooh, super soaker. <laughs> that boy got a super soaker with no water. got a musket, you know, with his you know, Tom Brady. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Damn it, my gunpowder's at home. Wow. <laughs> Put that little stuff away. Put it little away. Put that little stuff away, man. Now we gotta, we gotta throw a party for it. Now we will be hot, you know what I'm saying? I mean, we hot, but you know. I know one thing's for sure. We wouldn't lose the playoffs to a second string quarterback. Mm. We. Who ran the play y'all tried to run the previous possession. Mm. We. Well, ready to go. 
He well, must be the goat because he got hoofs and not hands. Um, oh, no. Well, that was a bad play call. Who's no, idea was it to throw it to the 40 year old guy and say, run? Mm. The team that they stole it from. Mm. Mm. Silence. Yeah, <laughs> we don't steal, okay? <laughs> oh, you don't, huh? Y'all don't. You don't steal. Because the video camera broke. Y'all don't steal no yeah, more. Yeah, that's right. Uh, that's right. <laughs> No, they don't steal. They just pay research. people off. It was research. They that's pay wrong. people off. They Not get their this. money. <laughs> they payola to the refs. Payola. Yes, it's, it's, it's called payola. It's, it's not stealing. It's, it's illegal. It's not stealing. You know what? what y'all gonna do with Michael Thomas? Okay. That, that's Ooh. That. You know what we gonna do? Put a keep. Put a keep to leave on. There it is. Yeah, there it is. Shut them down. Hey, that's, oh, okay. the, that's the advantage of playing a team already in the season. Now you know what you gotta do for the next game. Yeah. To leave was. Not Hey, with the like Patriots. To leave one there. Uh, same thing with the Chiefs, should I say. They, Look, let me tell they you. They know now what's up. I, I just want to tell you this, and you might not like it, but I'm going to let you know. Your Pats got lucky that game. Oh. You want me to tell you why? Because it was that crucial time Brady rushing touchdown. What happened? He didn't complete the tackle. Why? Because of that stupid rule. If you fall on him, that's a penalty. That rule ain't that no more. Tom Brady getting messed up. Y'all ain't got Kareem no more. They don't need to. The running back they got right now is just as explosive. <laughs> Do your research. We're okay. Do your research. We'll okay. Y'all ain't got to kill. Y'all got Edelman. Sammy, Y'all had. Sammy, I'm always hurt. Walker's gonna do it. <laughs> I mean, he did it last game. Sammy, hey, sure. this is gonna be a great show. I know show. you ain't talking, <laughs> Josh. I'm gonna take a break from the game for the fourth time you know this what? season. <laughs> you know what? I, I really wasn't happy about that signing because I knew this would happen. Mm. I, first of all, what is he smoking that makes you throw away? Millions? Man, he's smoking. I want to know the name of it. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't know the name of it, so I can stay clear away from it. Maybe I'll smoke it to give me the opposite effect. I'll run to the millions. But, like, you know, maybe the millions will start coming must to be me. Laced with something, whatever he's smoking millions with. Millions of the weed. I did. <laughs> it's more than more than twenties <laughs> and fifties. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> say it. Say it. <laughs> all right, we, we, got, we, got, we got some more comments. <laughs> Go ahead and read them all for All right, man. Uh, we got Superfly. He says, How fitting would it be that the Patriots dynasty started against the Rams mm. and will end with the Rams this Ooh. year in the Super Bowl? How Talk about it. Hashtag. Spy, hashtag Spygate. How fitting would it be if y'all lost by a field goal again this year? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh yeah. I want, I want to read the comment above it. I want to read the comment I'm above it. it How you a Patriots fan from STF? Shaking my head. <laughs> hey, Rams ain't always been good. I, mean, I could give you the whole long story about why I'm a Pats fan. But, mm. uh, I like Drew Bledsoe. Mm. Then you know what happened with Bledsoe? He got up out of there, and then this guy Brady came in. He did a great job. He this kept guy. doing a great job. Kept us afloat. So you know what? Let me tell you something. This you talk about me hating Baker Mayfield. Now I hate Tom Brady. Why he gotta have all the money and the supermodel wife? Huh? See, that's why y'all hate him. Huh? That's why y'all hate him. And, like, and honestly, Giselle ain't even that cute. Ooh. Pow pow. Pow pow. She not. She not. She pew pew. Everybody go. Everybody go. She she not even that cute. She average. Ooh. She she ain't on the field with us. Her facial structure too strong. Mm. <laughs> Look, wow. Ain't got nothing to do with me. Just keep throwing the ball, time. Let's hope we throw the ball better than did you know last year. I just hope that they and don't try to catch it. I just hope that they don't pay pay off the rest of this time, man. Man, look. Oh lord. Oh lord. I'm trying to get to the bowl again. That's the way. That's the reason why I hate the Patriots. They they cheat. Hey, they cheater it. Allegedly. Research. I mean, y'all y'all three and five. On the road, and this is a road game. That's something different than all these other years. Y'all been at home in Foxborough, comfortable. The greatest coach of all time. The greatest QB. Uh, yes. Mm-hmm. Nice. Hold, hold on. God hold, and his son hold, on the sideline. Hold on. First of all, Bill Belichick is the damn devil. First of all, like <laughs> <laughs> just get that established. When he be putting on that hood, he looked like the emperor from Star Wars. He don't get cold. That's when I knew he was the coach from this. He don't get cold with his freezing out there, sleeveless in him. Mm. He don't get cold because he warm blooded. Cause he's the devil. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. He's going against a rookie. It's the biggest game of his life. He's not, not a, a rookie. rookie. Where was he at last year? He was at Kansas City last year. He played one game last. year. He played the last the game. The very last year. game. Still a rookie. You know you got to be good for you to get rid of Alex well, Smith. Well, Alex Smith ain't nothing. But you know, to be a rookie to put up 50 touchdowns. 
<laughs> How many touchdowns? Uh, hey, well, he's four. One. So? Who he got to throw it to? Edelman, Gronkowski, he ain't the same. He ain't Michelle, the same. White. He has to throw it to the running backs. That, exactly. Mm. The running back slash receivers. That's I mean, you know, that's the name of the game nowadays. Dink and dunk. He got us. To, I heard dink and dunk because we ain't got a deep three. <laughs> Double doink. <laughs> our, our primary option is Chris Hogan. <laughs> Chris Hogan. I yeah. blame Josh Gordon for this. We <laughs> He also still got Julian Edelman, though, still out there. He balling, though. He, he has he been balling. balling. Gronk ain't the same, though. That's the one the same. He's Tom Brady ain't the same. In Houston, that brother. Time. Houston was. Yeah. Hmm. Run the numbers. First. Run the numbers. The GOAT. First in the AFC. We second. We all right. We right where we want to. Y'all barely got in the seconds. The Chargers was on y'all. And what they get? The beating of a lifetime last If it wasn't week. for the Houston so Texans slipping up, you wouldn't. That's too. Right? If that the too. Texans didn't win, you would get the wild whole card. home field that, for the first that, round. Okay? Yes, it does. It has nothing to do with you. It's contingent, brother. <laughs> <laughs> it got nothing to do with it. All right, so look. Check this out. On a whole other note, after seeing last night's game, in regards to the NBA, throughout everything we've seen, all the different storylines, the Lakers or the, the Raptors, the Bucks, whatever, at the end of the day, Golden State made it be known that no matter what y'all do, we still the best team and we going to win the whole thing again. Man, look, they was the best team one year and lost. Anything is possible. How you Man. go 73 and 9 and give up a 3 1 lead? I'll never let that go. Man, last night, they, what they had. What they had like 140 some points. They had 50 points in the first quarter. Crazy. Steph hitting shots from 35 feet easily. I mean, well, Steph go Steph. And, and still without Boogie. Yeah. That's the crazy thing. I feel like Boogie gonna mess it up. I thought Boogie was back. No, the, he the comes 18th. Back, uh, the 18th. Tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Superfly says Peyton Manning. Tomorrow? Peyton Manning never had the defense behind him like Tom Brady. Manning Facts. was a better QB. Superfly says that. He won a Super Bowl with a broken freaking neck. Okay. Him. Mm. That Broncos he still won the MVP though. Oh, okay, hey, gotta give it to somebody. They, why they ain't give it to Von Miller? Defense. Defense don't. They don't care about defense. Well, didn't, what, didn't what, happened when, what happened? When they, uh, what happened when Manning won the first time? He didn't have a defense. And he ain't get the MVP, did he? It was all. It, it was all hey, Peyton Manning. First one against the Bears. Yeah, a good Bears team at that. Yeah, yeah no, they weren't too shabby. That Bears team's offense was Devin Hester. Well, I mean, they had Rex Grossman. I mean, you stop that. You stop it right now. They had Rex Grossman. You stop that right now. I can't even back you up on that one. They were great. Uh, they he had said, he said no, buddy, you, you no. on your own. I Actually, you I was on. agreeing with you. They had Rex Grossman. It was terrible. Horrible. The defense got him there, and Devin Hester just being fast. What speed was 100 on Madden? 100. <laughs> that right. run back, he was like, he's 100. Yeah. Devin Hester's speed was 100. Please, Devin, just run it back. Please. He ran back. To, he ran back to open the open kickoff. Well, he wasn't running. The open the kickoff, he ran yeah. it back. He was like, all right, we see how this game's going to go. Never mind. Never mind. Put him at wide receiver. <laughs> Exposed. <laughs> 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 all right, so that was the rundown. Once again, thanks for tuning in on the platform Sports Talk Show. So before we keep on getting into more sports games and et cetera, et cetera, we have another guest. Yes, we do. Yes. We got a twofer. Yes. She, a twofer, one special. She yeah. is a independent travel agent. She's an entrepreneur. She knows something about some sports medicine. Bring it on to the platform. We have Miss Roxy what? Jones. Come on in. Come on over. All right. Come on over. It's Miss Jones. How are you? Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Yes. Thank you bringing me on the show, the platform, to speak sports medicine. Shout out to Smooth and Sadal and Stanton. Stand back. Okay. All right. <laughs> the guy's tie on you all. So he's ready for business. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Business has just picked up. There, ah, it, is. Oh, there, there it, is. is. There it Somebody's is. Somebody's paying attention. She's a quick learner. Yeah, She's a quick learner. Yes, 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 yes. And it's, it's pretty cool because you told me about you doing sports medicine. This is like maybe a few weeks later. You told me about you trying to, you know, work on. Yes, you know, I am. Your I'm health. Love it right now. Right. That's amazing. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. Why don't you tell her what your, you know, your, your big goal is overall? 
Well, my, well, I don't really have a big goal. It's just like a life, lifetime, the lifestyle kind of change. You know what I mean? Well, just that's, to get, just to get slim goal. and just to right. not be on like seventy pills a day when I get to be sixty. You know Absolutely. what I mean? And so it's just, it's just more about a, a, a healthy, clean lifestyle and get it to a healthy weight and just being with a healthy body. You have a healthy mind, and a healthy mind, you do more. And that's my that's my deal. I gotta take this wonderful, pill from the gotta take so, this pill from um I'm glad you said that, Sadal, because that's one of my main focuses and reason. I don't want people to think that I'm like an expert or a licensed physician or a doctor or anything of that sort. Um, I am a beauty and wellness consultant for the St. Louis and Met um, East St. Louis metro area. Um, so what I do is I go out and I, you know, I search for uh, products that are natural. Mm. So they're opioid, steroid, and NSAID free. Um, okay. So it's totally natural using things that were, you know, already, that we've already been introduced to. They've been around for thousands of years. Um, and I really had the, I had the great opportunity uh, to come across a um, all natural totally organic um, natural pain relief product with aloe veritas mm. and um, the sports medicine that people use uh, as far as high profile athletes uh, former NFL and NF active NFL players uh, that are that are using um, sports medicine because you know they're high profile people they have to be back out back in the game so they don't have a lot of time for them to be out um, recovering from those injuries such as such as uh, you all have discussed earlier um, so uh, what I've incorporated is um, sports medicine and how the community as a whole can benefit from what our uh, high-profile athletes and pro ball uh, players are using uh, to you know rid themselves and restore their health uh, so just taking it taking all of that um from the field to your regular life like, Absolutely. like someone like me like just 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 going to the gym oh yeah you know you experience aches and pains you know along the way i can take these products Absolutely. just the same as uh using pro the same products uh practicing treatment regimens such as they do as well as customizing you know what works for you um uh, a lot of people when the community have pain so it's not just you know, it can be chronic pain, uh, joint pain, arthritis, um, you know, swelling, constant inflammation. You know, I can't walk really good on my right foot, but my left foot's fine. Those are signs of, you know, just everyday pain that the community just as well as, you know, other athletes are experiencing from, you know, playing hard, taking hard hits and, you know, being constantly in the game. Um, conditioning, you know, strenuous workouts or what have you. So yes, uh, these products that I offer, the well, uh, wellness products, totally natural pain relief, and they do help you, you know, restore yourself to your health. So you're not in pain anymore, and you know, you're promoting, like you said, it's at all that 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 healthy lifestyle that you're trying to embark on. Yes, that's awesome. Awesome. Um, do you have some of those products with you? I do. I do. Because you know, I I know I have experienced like uh, uh, some some neck pain. You know, you over the years. You got some neck pain right now. Yeah. No. No. Uh oh. Yeah, Let's do a demonstration <laughs> right now. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get cracking. So. Like, you know. Exactly. So this. Is you know, we got a chair back here for this. <laughs> aloe MD. So uh, Aloe MD is by the uh, company Aloe Veritas. Uh, founder and owner Christopher Hardy. Um, I have the great pleasure and opportunity to work with him on uh, with this product and the company as well. Uh, so I definitely recommend this. I use LOMD as well as others in my family. I, rub, I rubbed it and used it on just about all of my nephews with their achy joints and pains, back, shoulder, neck, hmm. and what have you. So definitely the Aloe MD True Cellular Therapy can you go ahead and pass okay, that yeah. to Sadal? Ask me one of those samples. Yes, man. yes. Yeah. So, absolutely. So, I want you to use this sample. This is a three day sample, okay? Mm. So, I want you to use it on that neck. Okay. And I want you to get back to me and you let me know what's going on. Okay, I, okay. I, I, I okay. surely will. All right, yeah. 
So that's definitely um, a little bit more about uh, the AloMD. Like I said, it's an all natural drug opioid, steroid and save free. It's a therapeutic cream, uh, clinical research demonstrating to be more effective than the most popular pain relieving drug on the market today. Um, in reference to reducing that inflammation, that's where, again, a lot of our pain comes from, and constant and chronic pain is that inflammation. I uh, can't, you know, lift my arm or shoulder as high as I want to, but this one is, you know, just fine. So those are all different, um, different uh, components of inflammation. They come and go. It can be gout in your foot. Mm -hmm. It could be, you know, bloating in your tummy it's still pain it, just because it doesn't hurt doesn't mean that it's not painful to your body or discomfort yeah because i was reading about inflammation is this all comes from like your diet and, oh, man. and you know things like that so yeah, um no idea. inflammation causes cancers it causes yes. you know not a, just arthritis just a you know heart disease and things so inflammation is is key to get rid of and so Absolutely. hopefully, uh, you know, I can use this and it'd be like the Dan Marino to the to the product, you know. And oh, absolutely. Ask, ask, yeah. absolutely. Question. Uh, Superfly oh. asked, he asked, uh, does she do, does she do physical therapy? I do not do physical therapy. However, there is uh, a physical therapist that I would be able to refer you to. Um, again, with me being a beauty and a wellness consultant, I have a referral list of industry professionals. So whatever product that I am promoting uh, or marketing, I do have a referral list for those professionals and licensed uh, physicians and whatnot uh, for you to seek um, further uh, diagnosis and uh, preventing that, you know, that pain. Dope, this, dope, this dope. Is, this is dope. Um, this is yeah. This is this is something that um you can put in. Oh yeah, let's let's say it. put it to use right now. Live demonstration here. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Smells good though. Thank you. So let's talk about pain real fast, guys. Like this is how serious this uh this issue is in the community. Of the 76.2 million Americans taking medication for chronic pain and inflammation. 80% is because of that poor diet, like, you, like what you were saying. Mm. So a lot of our pain comes from what we choose to intake and put into our bodies. Um, if you mean you know, like Taco Bell? Okay. And stuff like <laughs> Taco, Taco Bell. Bell. <laughs> <laughs> If y'all for y'all that don't prime know, example, the owner of smoke pass, session pass just walked those, in here. Pass me one of those napkins over there, uh, sir. Like good that. sir over there. Oh, and, and some waters, please. Gotcha. Yeah, but some I napkins do. or something, you know. Yes, and a cognac. Yeah, can it? No, I'm just. Yes. <laughs> yes. We, we, so, some shots. No. <laughs> so the pain, you know, so the chronic pain and inflammation is there. More than 20 million Americans between 18 and 64 experience chronic pain, no matter where it's at. It could be in your lower back, your, you know, your forearm, your shoulder, your necks. It doesn't matter. There's people all over in our community that are experiencing this pain. So I'm here to share what I have to help uh, aid you and restore uh, you back to you know your natural health so you don't have to live with this pain anymore yeah and it's good you brought it up because like the fellas know i just came from recovering from a back injury Wonderful. like <laughs> it's not funny it's not funny at all <laughs> it is no it's because you should have seen them <laughs> oh yeah it was yeah it's it's, it's all bad I, my back it was all bad i was like like fred sanford <laughs> that's how i, I was walking uh, 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 tez know about it too so slip my damn disc. oh uh, man uh I, I don't know i can't really pinpoint it. it just happened when i was playing softball like it just got worse and i was bending down for a ground ball came up back for about the pop so like oh, you so, hit pop, man. yeah it's so like it, it will stay like in one like i guess my muscle uh, it just wasn't, you know, real right. You know, it wasn't water, responding water. well. So, uh, yeah, I've been going to a chiropractor every month. Uh, I've been doing that for the last four or five years now, actually. So, there's yeah, so maybe that, that stuff may, uh, may pay off. I gotta check it out. Yeah. Definitely, definitely, Absolutely. definitely. Absolutely. Yeah, so you, you had uh, some more? Well, 
It's already being used uh, by former NFL players. Uh, mm. Tal Jones uses it, mm. okay. as well as uh, Mike Moore and Derek Kennard. Um, and uh, it's it's a like I said, it's a great product, and um, it's it's on the new wavelength. There's there's plenty of neighboring um, chiropractors as well as other. Um, physicians that are also in sports medicine that are actually using the AlloMD as I, you know, as we speak. So they're they're aware of it. They um, enjoy the performance and the way the product brings um, says what it says it's going to do. And um, I just look forward to sharing, you know, this product with the community. I really want to help rid people of their pain. Um, we also have a nationwide campaign going on. It's called Pain Smarts mm. um, by pain, with, on uh, painsmarts.org. There's a survey. They'll send you out samples as well uh, for you to try. And they also give you a coupon for, you know, for you to purchase uh, the tube as well. And our whole movement is to rid Americans of being opioid, steroid, and safe free. Uh, it's a very common and heavenly thing here in in America, and um, it's really keeping us back with restoring our health. Mm. Most definitely, yeah, um, definitely crucial I for gotta, us. I gotta visit that website. What is that website? One more, one more again. Paintsmarts.org. And also, where can people find you at? Yes, so people can find me at, uh, as far as uh, like Instagram. Instagram, all, all the okay. social media outlets. Okay, social media outlets. You oh, can check me internet. out at Peace of Mind Hair on Instagram. I'm also on Facebook, P O M B S T L. That's Peace of Mind Boutique, S T L. Uh, I'm on there as well. Uh, and you can also check me out on YouTube. I'm also on YouTube as well, uh, Roxy Jones. So follow. I'm here, I'm available. Come follow me, check me out, leave a comment, I'll respond. I'm here for the people. I'm gonna go ahead and subscribe. Very good. You know, I'm actually feeling like the you oh, know sensation like actually working right hey, now. Hey, hey. Uh -oh. uh oh, I'm not just saying we that have a breakthrough. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right smoke that. It's a miracle. <laughs> you pass do a miracle. <laughs> So uh, real quick, Superfly says smoke session is a cool spot too. So shout out, out to Tez. He's uh he's in the back eating uh, unhealthy he right he now. Some of the food he's <laughs> he got the neck bones, the pig feet, the snoot <laughs> like that. Just hey, naming them all, hey, ain't you? We, we ain't judging. We ain't judging over here. You know, this is no judge. I don't want a hot leak now. <laughs> all of this is just tempting. I'm, I'm trying not to look that direction. <laughs> Good God. He's, on a, he's on a healthy I had I had some chicken breast and brown rice and, and peas today. Eat the bacon. There it is. I ate clean Eat the bacon. and I went to the gym. So we definitely appreciate you being on the show to discuss sports medicine, getting everybody right. People need to see this. And it can definitely possibly extend your life, you know what I'm saying, further, you know, health wise. So it's definitely important, especially for the black community. Like, you know, we we can be lazy taking care of our bodies. Yes, we can. You know, so. And it's very important to know, yeah. you know what's out there for us to restore our health. So here it is. Here's, Take um, advantage of it. A new start for you with Aloe MD. Mm. And, you know, contact me and uh, I'm here. Let's make it happen, people. Definitely. Yes. Definitely. So. Let's be pain free. Now, you told me before the show that you like other sports as well. Tell us what sports you like. Oh, snap. I mean, here we go. I like uh, watching basketball. I just uh, recently um, got into that about a couple of years ago. Who's your team? And uh, see, so this is the thing. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Hi, we need another. Here we seat. go. We need another seat on the bandwagon, oh, please. Wow. <laughs> okay, I like Steph Curry, but no. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he just went right in there. Yep. Okay. So no filter tonight. I have. I'm not. Loyal to like one team. Oh, there wow. are yes. He, he, said, he said, "Oh no, I like the sport and the art of it." So there are players that I do like, but mine are more so old. Mm. So the new guy, see there you. Right? <laughs> mm. said, okay, mm. all right. See, that's a good I answer. They're not playing no more, so I, you you can say you're safe, man. You're safe. I'm safe. I'm they safe. don't even play no right. more. They don't even play 
no more. So that's that because that's who I grew. Up. I grew up in the Michael Jordan era. Mm. Oh yeah, me too. Yeah, you know what? No, I, we we're not accepting that. That's an easy go to. Michael Jordan is the goat. That's I don't a, care. This is no a, debate. That's a get out of jail free card right there. Okay. That's a get out of jail free card right there. Just gonna say that Michael needs, Jordan. We need somebody else. Yeah, he, and if you would have said, you all if right. you would have said Charles Barkley, we would have been like, wow, that's dedication. Right. <laughs> now wait a minute, now y'all ain't gonna talk about my career as a player, Cobra Brown, because just because I like Krispy Kreme from time to time don't mean you can talk about Charles. Chuck, Chuck, we talk about Chuck, Chuck. <laughs> so, Kobe, for the pawns, for the pawns, everybody know Kobe. So, in regards to football, what's your thoughts on football right now? You know, like with the whole concussion thing going on, the the, the big emphasis on safety. Yes. Because I am a wellness consultant, mm -hmm. I started seeing football in a different perspective. That's real. That's real. And you can't help but not go that path, you know, after seeing so much. And a big change for me was actually seeing the movie Concussion. That just yeah. really, really did it for me. I was just like, if I was ever to have sons, they're not playing football. Mm. It's not going to happen. Mm. You can do something else, but no football. Mm. Um, it's, it's a big deal. And I think that it's not taken as serious as it should be. And um, there's definitely need there need, there definitely needs to be um, a game changer uh, with how they approach that. I do appreciate like the bumpers like on the new helmet stuff. Mm -hmm. That's kind of like a that's like a, a breath a fresh breath. Yeah. I mean, I'm like, they got oh, rules they against against leading with your head now. They got right. those new concussion right. plates right. on there. So that that I appreciate, but I. I do feel that the NFL could do a little more um, with um, approaching the, the whole concussion. My thing is, uh, I, I think they could do a little bit more in that area, but and also taking care of more care of their uh, former players. Because um, I just saw, I just saw the documentary on Gene Say out. They're thirty for thirty, man. Man, it's shit a thug tear. <laughs> Watching that. <laughs> you cried? No, blue. No, I man. <laughs> Alex. It's, Alex. It's, Alex. Right, right. It's funny you say that. Richard, Richard Sherman made a tweet. He was like, uh, something along the lines of, if the NFL truly cares about their players, they would offer them life insurance and like life, life term medical insurance past their playing years. Yeah. And he was like, but they don't. Which I believe they should. Because, you know, it's like you never know what problems you're going to experience as a result of things after you're done playing. Hmm. And then it's like, what what can you do? You're not covered under that NFL insurance anymore. I mean, I'm pretty sure you have insurance, but it's not like the NFL level insurance. So it's like, what can you do to be able to seek treatment for that? to take care of the players, the former. As they age, you know, they retire, 40 and 50 year old NFL players need to be taken care of. Hmm. Definitely. While so you're in the game, I less sympathetic because you know what you signed up for it's gonna sound horrible i like how you said 40 and 50 and just stop right right that's it after 51 you're done <laughs> you ain't getting okay. no love <laughs> <laughs> after 51 medicare is your friend that's how you feel it that's how you feel it dang medicare medicaid the government take care of it's funny you saying that you know brady 11 years away <laughs> after he's not well you know brady, brady probably gonna have out of this world health care shoot you got enough money you got millions <laughs> Yeah, so he gonna buy the doctor. Be like, so with that being said, speaking of Brady, let's go ahead and break down Chargers, Patriots game. Oh, jump man. right into Ooh, it with yeah. both feet. What, what, what the heck happened? Chargers the didn't. Chargers. They didn't it's, show up. It's that. It's the damn Fox, bro. It's cursed for the away team. I don't know what it is. Y'all saw that game. When the last I, time I, they I lost feel, it, home. I feel bad for Philip Rivers, man. He just can't. He, he was so close. Let's just get that out there. He ain't gonna he do it. Never win a Super Bowl. I ain't gonna say all that. He won't uh, even get to the Super Bowl. I mean, Nick Foles won a Super Bowl against the Patriots. Right, right, right. right. Never say never, but the, the, the whole team just didn't step up, man. It's like they got shell shocked. It was like it was like they just lost all their confidence well, first off, walking into that building. You don't give Tom Brady that much time back there in the pocket. The dude was touched twice. Yeah, that's one. That's He's one reason. Check his text messages the whole game. Yeah. Yeah, James White got 15, 15 catches for ninety-seven dump offs. He wasn't under duress. 
And then and then Sony Michelle went crazy. He went crazy, a hundred something on the game on the ground with the they touchdown. Just, they just straight locked up on defense, man. They just locked it up. That's on the Chargers. And their defense is not that bad, so mm. coach it, maybe. Now the other game, Chiefs uh, versus the Colts. <laughs> What I tell y'all about them Colts? I told Man. you. I told you. Big statement ran for I the organization. Told you. Luck ran on luck. Yeah, first the time. Chiefs finally won a playoff finally game. Finally won. <laughs> finally won. Man, on the last what, eight bounced. times. Right. First time going to the AFC Championship game in Kansas City. Yeah. It's going to be crazy. Now, it's going to be an Arctic blast coming through this weekend. <laughs> now, we know that New England is used to cold, but this is Midwest cold. Right. This is rain and snow and sleet all falling. And it's windy. Boston Cold ain't no different. So, watching uh, the game. Speaking of, speaking of uh, Boston and, you know, Adam Vinatieri. Right. We're talking about Father, father Time. Still going. No, yeah, he still, just he missed that field goal. Right. Two, hey, that, 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 that ball kept on going. Going. That ball kept on going and going the wrong way. What's crazy is I yelled. I was like, he going to miss it. Vinatieri Voodoo. And then he missed it. I was like, oh, damn. No, I thought I did something. I was like, now, Whoa. now one of my concerns, like, one of my concerns about the Chiefs was uh, their defense, but they uh, they showed up this past last weekend. They showed up. Yeah, they did. Yeah. I'm still not worried. They're, they're getting in the shape. Mm. All right. All right. And now NFC. Let's talk about Rams versus the Cowboys. Who would have thunk? I, but before we go that far, I just want to bring on something. The last time the Patriots. We're in an AFC championship game and they weren't at home. It was against Baltimore. We all remember what happened that year. Yeah, I remember. I'm not sure I remember that. Arrowhead is way louder than Baltimore. I thought it was the uh, uh the, the Broncos. No. You sure? Because it was uh I'm gonna say Ray Rice. Well that was probably his last year too. No, uh Ray Lewis's last year. You know, that was his big old because that, that was the year the Broncos played the Seahawks. In, uh, Super Bowl. Yeah. Was that 2014? 13? Yeah, that was the year after. Okay. So they okay. did. Ooh, they did it two years in a row. Mm. We, we lose on a row. It happens. In, in a row. <laughs> he said it happens. <laughs> Consecutively? Five mm -mm. championships. One after the other? Five championships. <laughs> oh, Lord. I love it. It's going down all night. You know, at least the four they, were they, they some paper champions. <laughs> <laughs> you know the best thing about five champions? The first one. Mm, oh, you know, uh, I mean, shot. the first one was the first bought one, so you know, I guess. I mean, I saw kicker, when you got kicker. the payola, man, I saw a kicker, kicker to pay. Payola, I saw, I saw a camera. Um, right, right, the right. Camera during the walk during the walk rounds walk through on the Saturday. It was, yeah, it was on seven. We lost that year. <laughs> <laughs> we eighteen and one that year. So y'all got caught in 07. Y'all did it. Y'all right, been doing it. Right. It's just when you got caught. That was the helmet catch. <laughs> y'all lost the to the helmet catch. Then so, y'all lost to the backup quarterback. Then y'all lost to Eli twice. Right. You lost to Eli twice. How? I don't know. Cause the luckiest catch in history on a helmet is one. Didn't explain the second one. Uh, y'all lost. Just didn't w catch the ball. What had happened? <laughs> what, 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 what had happened? <laughs> And then that the one against was. the Seahawks, that was just bad coaching on the Seahawks. Y'all just got lucky, honestly. I mean, and Atlanta's curse, man. It just and, and Atlanta's curse. Atlanta's Georgia curse, can't man. win. Falcons can't win. Can't keep a lead. The Hawks they ain't can't gonna win. The, the Braves bad. can't win. Why on earth with Marshawn Lynch be in your backfield on the goal line and we not? <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, that was. I told you that was on them. That was just bad call. That's terrible. And you saw Russell. He was like, "Well, damn it, we should have done it the other Okay, way. can't the quarterback change the play at the line of scrimmage? Yes, he can. Yeah, he could. Shame on Russell too. Shame on everybody. If I'm at the line of scrimmage, man, damn it. Pete Carroll say, "Hey, you trying to win the Super Bowl? Be bold. Be smart. Go. Be Go. Going through. Run. Run." Run. So Trust going him. back to this uh this Rams Cowboys game, who'd have thought that the Rams would have had more rushing yards than the Cowboys? Me, this guy, hello. Uh oh. I didn't. I didn't see it coming. Yeah. I, I knew did. that. Look, 40, 45? 45. 45. Shut them down. I'm tell you what. I was talking about the Rams defense. That's not the defense. I was talking about <laughs> He started talking about the Cowboy defense. I was like, you I ain't think, worried about that. I think the, the, the Rams D listened to all of the criticism about the worst def, uh, rushing defense in the league and how the Rams have all these star players and don't utilize them. And they just 
they were just setting their mind, oh, no, we going to play today. Maybe they needed them three also, weeks of practice. The number one way to beat the Cowboys is make Dak beat you. Mm. Take Zeke out of the game. Well, let's see what uh, Dak got for you. Well, they took uh, Zeke Russian out the game. You know, he was still getting catches. I stuff. want him to catch. I'm turning him into a receiver. That's fine. Probably mm. will. Yeah. Probably be another two-way running back. So you think it's time for uh, Jason Garrett to go? Oh, yes. yeah. What? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What I said a couple weeks ago, watch it happen. Watch it. Watch it. Because mm. Jerry Jones don't care. On, uh, was it all there? No, not, uh, not, uh, what's his name? He's the coach. Uh, Dallas just re-signed one of the coaches. I forgot his name. The OC coordinator. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're talking about the defensive coordinator. That was defensive coordinator. Okay. Yeah. The young I, made, guy. I made a prediction a couple weeks ago. Jason Garrett and then Urban Meyer gonna pop up as coach. Well, I don't know how, oh. but it's just gonna happen. Dope, <laughs> you, uh, Thank you. Do you follow Thank any you. team in, in the NFL or you just like just whatever? Not really. I just mostly uh, watch the games when they come on. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, and then the last game, Saints Eagles Foles almost had the comeback, but someone couldn't catch the ball at the end. That's man, what, that's what Jeffrey, doing. man. Yo, he was hurt. And he then, was on the side. It hey. didn't help that the that the Saints scored like twenty unanswered points. Yeah, in the second yeah. half. Right. Yeah. Yeah, all, all we got to do is hijack the sound booth and make sure they just don't play chopper style. Because <laughs> after they, that, they, they just got they were lit. They were lit. Like, like they just can't they can't dance on the sideline. They were dancing. They're like, yeah. Right. Oh, top, top. I'm like, no, no, it's not going down. Stop playing that song. Stop playing that. But you know what? You see how, you see how quiet song. they were when they were uh, down 14 points. Mm -hmm. That's all the Rams did to do. The, the Rams, talking about next week now. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, yeah, go ahead. The Rams this week, they need to start fast. They need to run the ball. Yes. Keep Breeze off the field at yes. all costs. Ball, Keep your head time, down. Uh, ball control, excuse me. And then, and then on defense, we got to lock down these receivers and put pressure on Breeze. It's man. just one of them. I'm about to say, like you said, these receivers it's with an S. One. You take out Michael hey, Thomas. That's a that's Michael Thomas is good, but these other young cats, these these guys un Who? undrafted, Ted, uh, Jimmy Ray, whatever his name is, <laughs> the track star. Jimmy Ray. The track starter can't catch Ted Hill. Jimmy Bob. Not him, because <laughs> he got intercepted on <laughs> the first yeah, play. <laughs> Ooh, there it fast is. With no reason. Mm. Fast with no hands. No hands. And also, <laughs> just to add to pressure. And then those two running back duo, you know. But also, in regards to pressuring, you got to have the best game of the season from Sue and from Donald. You yes, have to. You have to. They got to have. They got to have MV, MVP caliber games. Yes. You know. Uh, da, what's his name? Dante Fowler Jr. Yeah. Hey. Step up. Show them why they traded for you during, during the season. Agreed. Put and pressure it, on Drew Brees. Do keep doing what you're doing, but don't, Peters, don't. man, <laughs> Peters, hey, keep don't. your head in the game. Nah, they gotta put Talib on uh, Thomas. Don't be we looking at the sideline, man. Peters is clueless. <laughs> I mean, I still say cut Peters at the end of the season because I don't care how how well he do. Say, what did he stop? Cut cut him, please. I man, look. Something else. I mean, he got that pick in that, that one game. Yeah, that one well, game. They, they yeah. been picking on him all season. A broken yeah. clock is right twice a day. Here you go. It is. <laughs> So. Uncle, uh, Uncle Sadal. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Peter's need to run up. Building. Peter's need to line up. What's up, cuz? You ready? <laughs> Where you from, cuz? Where you from, cuz? <laughs> Let's go. He had a tweet that he deleted telling about some, uh, it's gumbo week. Oh, God. <laughs> Yo, we might man, need that. Man, oh, we we might on, need man. that energy. You like, might need you that energy. You don't need to fuel the fire any, any hotter, man. Oh, it's gumbo week. So... Somebody test Michael Thomas for drugs. His eyes. I saw a look in his eyes. It didn't look right. Mm. He on something. He always looking high, man. So now, AFC. I'm pretty sure that's illegal. AFC, big game. Chiefs, Patriots, playing in KC. Ooh. What to watch for? Real quick, I want to shout out ABQ Sports when I say this because they said it on the show Sunday, and I totally agree. This is going to be a passing of the torch game. Mm. 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 This is a passing of the torch game. I hear you. End of an era. Tell me more. End of an <laughs> era, man. This is the end of an era. Yep. This is the end. Be because don't nobody knows. I don't even want to focus on Brady because nobody definitely no one knows if he's coming back next year. 
It ain't been talked about. Don't nobody know. Allegedly, he said he wants to keep playing. You know, I, allegedly. allegedly, there was a passing of the torch game, maybe like three decades ago. Eighty-one NFC Championship game, Dallas Cowboys, America's team, came in to a little place called San Francisco, and this young quarterback named um, Joe. Joe, Joe, some kind of kind of Joe Montana. Joe, Joe Washington. You know, he Joe didn't really Wyoming. have any experience, young guy, Joe and came up and played a big game. I see a repeat. Mm. Mm. Young guy named Mahomes. Your homeboy. Okay. You Patrick know, America's is. team, the Patriots coming into town. The real America's team. We're here yeah, to whatever. I mean, it was only now, America's team because they're in and Boston. And get so. beat. This doesn't fade. And get this. beat. I've been here this all Shoot, for the last, I mean, you the can last hear 15 it, years, years right? Get, get ready to see it. <laughs> get it ready, get it ready, get it ready. seven years that y'all tell it, so, you know, why should I be shook? Mm. What I got to be afraid of? A backup <laughs> quarterback? It, look. So, so first you're going to lose, first you lost to a second string. Now you're going to lose to a second year? The defense stopped that play. Okay, let's get that straight. <laughs> we I'm sorry, marching what? down the field before he was stripped. Yeah, everybody in the world saw him coming down the field. Man, look. That was the first and only think, sack of the game. I don't think y'all had a lead. Both teams. I don't think the Patriots had a lead that whole Super Bowl, did they? You mean when Tom Brady threw for 500 yards? And still couldn't get a lead? I think y'all had one lead that whole game. And he threw for 500. They say he washed up. Mm. When the MVP that year, they say he washed up. Mm. <laughs> they don't give you a ring for the MVP, do they? Mm. What was the Rams this morning? Ooh. We was in there in uh, the greatest show. I love it. I love it. <laughs> one ninety nine. Okay. Oh, 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 <laughs> you know, Spygate. Ain't no cameras now. <laughs> Technology. <laughs> no, nobody use cameras. We hacking iPads, bro. You ain't getting it. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Just, just get there so we can beat y'all again. That's cool. You get that too. Come on. You know what? We will. All right. Well, I'm not so. So my question is—he's not is, a rookie. You finna put some respect on this brother's name. So my question this for you is: This is not a Ben Simmons situation. He is so not a rookie. Belichick is real big on trying to take away your best player. Tyreek Hill. So, so you say they stop them? Don't let him get in front of you, please. It's impossible. He's the fastest receiver. Hold on, push him off the line, please. Don't let him get in front of you. Do it, please. I mean, yes, push him so we can get a pass interference, hey. or so they can get a pass interference. It's not my time. Yes, they are. Oh, we can't. They might. What, what they got to do? Take it. I mean, come on. All them years, yeah, the Patriots cheating, you were All you. them years and all the blown Come calls, on, man. All the blown calls and the unblown balls. And you mad? Hey, you know what? They're going to be a bad call on <laughs> Sunday's game. Book it. You said what? They're going to be a bad call on the side of Sunday's game. You're going to think it's a bad call, but everybody else is going to be like, yeah, that was a correct call. Correct call. <laughs> we going to win. Y'all going to say. He, he grabbed his here. legs. <laughs> He grabbed his legs as the ball was coming. That's complete you know, pass yeah, in the fence. Y'all gonna say we cheated. It's okay. Y'all not gonna mm-hmm. win though. This for a while. I'm so, all right, cool. Can we bring him it. back on the show next week? I'm immune to it. Hey, Please. if you, you hey, free next week, I'm if he down, okay. Oh, oh boy. boy. Hey, breaking oh, news. Yeah. Breaking news. Back, oh, KM, we'll be back. I'm back. Oh, oh yeah. Win or lose is gonna be a hilarious show. I will say that. Right, 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 right. Right. All right, so. That was a nice, lengthy discussion in regards to uh, what to look for in the NFC I and got my AFC. What if already? Uh oh, uh oh. I got my what if already. All right, so we're gonna change the subject. The uh, Richard Chaffetz. He uh, is the, of course, the man that the Chaffetz Arena is named after so mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. Slew Billikens basketball. He had an article this past uh, last week, excuse me, saying that he is definitely 100 percent down. We're trying to find other investors like himself to bring the NBA back to St. Louis. As soon as I heard, I'm like, man, we haven't had anyone come, you know, come through for, in, in the media outright and say, you know what, I want to bring NBA back to the loo. Is this possible? Can this happen? Go ahead, uh, Stan. Where are we going to build this stadium at? Hey, I ain't worried about that part right now. I mean, you kind of <laughs> need to be. Not me. <laughs> I'm like, what, what they going to do, play in the college dome? Come on, now. Oh, no, no, no. If we did get a team, of course, they won't be play, they won't play in the Shafitz. It will be in the Enterprise uh, Center for a minute until they actually build a new stadium because you have to have a new uh, – I mean, they might as well use the Enterprise Center. Like, you know, a lot of teams do the NBA see, and the NHL. But see, this is what I heard is that you first have to 
include, I'm sorry, install two new locker rooms for the home team and for the away team. Who's to say that uh, they're not going to already do that with these improvements that they're making? Well, hey, who knows? Because they don't. <laughs> I don't know. Totally different place now. Good at that I, thing. I would, I would like to see a, a basketball team in St. Louis. Man, I just look over the back. Just look over the, the history of St. Louis sports. Yeah. We've just been screwed. You know what's crazy? Every, I mean, every league has screwed us in some kind mm. of way, uh, except baseball. Except MLB, right? Right. I mean, it's just like you got the – we had two football teams leagues. We had a basketball. We had two basketball teams lead, and the people forget about the ABA. Mm. And see, the owners of the ABA team kind of got the NBA team back from the. Uh, this is like a, a deal that they made when they bought out the the, the St. Louis Spirits. Mm. Uh-huh. They made a they made a TV. They're like, okay, well, um, we want um, the T your T a, a portion of your TV deal in perpetuity. And it lasted until 2014, you know, uh, until they kind of squashed it. But it's just been bad luck for for teams. I don't know. To bring a team here, then we got to worry about them not getting stripped in 20 years. I don't. I don't want to go through this again. Mm. What was crazy is the um, the family that owns the Hawks still live here. Huh. Huh. But, but I'm like, shoot, Atlanta ain't going to miss nothing. That's like that's like Stan Kroenke still living here, man. Mm. He got ran out the state. <laughs> and I know for yourself, not just St. Louis. He got ran out the state. And I know for oh, yourself, yeah. Roxy, yeah. that once Count you heard about days. it, you was instantly excited about trying to get the NBA to the loop, right? Oh yeah, I mean St. Louis is a basketball town. It, it is. is. It really is. It really is. Boy, high school basketball oh. be popping. Yes, what Stan said, high school basketball. I mean, and and it just expands and grows from there. It, we need a we need a basketball team. We need mm. the NBA here. I think it'll, it'll do well. Be a great attraction. Um, Have them homegrown. I mean, what about the dome? Couldn't they just? That's what I said. They be the, the dome, dome is old. Yeah, and uh, and, and you know, I, I, they they were also talking about uh, if we don't get an NBA team, maybe getting a, a, a G, G League. League team. Yeah. Mmm. And then they, 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 that nah, would definitely I, fit the the the, the, the um, enterprise. The thing the thing with the well, G League now is. Fun. Watch the, the final four when they when they had it here. Um, yeah, they mm-hmm. had it at at, at the dome. At the, dome. Mm-hmm. So, I mean. the thing with the G League is every every NBA team has their own respective G League team. Yeah. So if us just have a G League team, like, well, who are they for? Uh, they they the they the G League reserves. <laughs> they just gonna come here. Mm. So we would need a team for for the G League. Uh, you said, what about using the Dome? You know, we getting that XFL team next year. Right, so that'd be taken up. So the Dome will be used and that up league during... Fold up. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. I give them one year. Uh, <laughs> I give I give them a year and a half. Give two, okay. Uh, give two. Give I two. give them a year and a half. They're going to have all-star break in the middle of the season, and that's going to be the last game. I'm going to give them a year and a half to catch mm. on, and I'm going to see the second game. I mean, well, you know, St. Louis is going to be excited to have a football team I'm, to root I'm for and not have to worry about the Rams. Because it's football. You know. I get the hashtag name. And you got to remember the Freedom Alliance. They they got a game, the Freedom Football Alliance. Right, right, right. <laughs> Who was that, Ricky Williams or something? I saw him recently. I'm like, boy. Look all bad on it. Looking rough. Mm. <laughs> 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 I still got it. Nice leg. Hey. Um, <laughs> Open up his jacket, a torn up number 34 Dolphins jersey. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> Nice, like right. So check this out. I was uh, just told that our signals, signals are kind of going in and out a little bit. So we're going to take a quick pause and come right back within the next five minutes. So just hold on tight, people, for part Don't two. Don't you move. We'll be back. With part two of the Platform, platform Sports, Sports Talk, Talk Show. Commercial break.